This past Wednesday, the Fed held a meeting regarding the decision on the benchmark interest rates. The decision that came out of it was to keep those rates steady. But there is potential of those rates being cut later in the year. The Fed needs to see more of that positive information for at least a couple more months before they're ready to start dropping interest rates. It's very likely going to happen, just not happen this cycle. We're probably looking at later this year, maybe September or November, before we see the first interest rate cuts by the Fed. Over the past few years, credit cards have grown to record levels, says Wise, as the average consumer carries anywhere from $6,300 to $6,400 in credit card debts. When the Fed starts lowering interest rates, that's going to have an immediate impact on bringing those rates down. The Fed cuts interest rates by 25 basis points or a quarter point. That means that credit cards will very quickly follow and drop their own rates by the same amount. That's going to put immediate money into consumers while it's a little bit not, not life-changing. So just how positive are consumers feeling about their financial future? Consumers are pretty optimistic about their own financial futures. And a lot of that has to do with the continued strong job market that we've seen, the employment situation with low unemployment and continued real gains in wages has helped a lot of consumers. They're seeing those wage gains and that's giving them the optimism um, to continue to spend. Tips that WISE has for consumers to get through these high interest rates are to cut back on credit card spending, continue to make payments on your debt, and using resources to understand credit management. Reporting in Odessa, Jesse Zaragoza, ABC, Big 2 News.